It's about time. I need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the vivido, I pick up the profits. Who are they drops for? You ever try these? I took one for research, now I can't stop. Turn my piss purple, you want one? No. Who's paying us for the vivido, Juan? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA's in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of that? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc., etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask. And I'll never tell. It's a private club. Just you, me, and lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. Just remember, after La Revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. If I say yes, I feel like you're still going to tell me. Fucking drug lords want to stash their cash in American real estate so they can launder it. Fifty million dollar deal, Danny. That's great, Juan. I even got them to throw in a few kilos of product. Sold it on the black market, but... Lost it all at the tables in Monte Carlo. How is this helping me right now? Nah, I get lonely. Suerte! for an indefinite period. Thank God you came by.
First package dropped off. Okay, good. Hey, did I tell you about the time I brokered the deal for Gorbachev? Let me guess. You made the deal, took a cut for yourself, and lost it in a dumb bet you can't even remember. I mean... Yes? I think this means we are family now. Bienvenido. I have hope for Clara. But I got you. You thought I wouldn't notice Libertad selling my viviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! When the Garillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. Thirteen. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the Garillas came. Every day I'm in charge. <laughs> crime by crime, piece by piece he paid to the Garillas. But we would still talk every single night. Until they took his tongue for his lies to Yara. Stop! Papa, stop this! Who is this Guria to you? Ah. I think we should skip a few steps, Raul. Viva Libertad. The attack. The Hotel Paraiso. Danny was there. You? You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. We will give them a chance. 
Get the fuck out of here! Keep moving, Danny! Diego. Castillo's a fucking psychopath. Juan, we're burned. Castillo was waiting. He and his fucking head out tried to kill me. Glad you made it. I, uh... I have to ask. Did you talk, Danny? Not a fucking word. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. The kid, Diego. He saved my life. What? Shaw Danton's headed out dead. Old dog? Binga. This is good. This is very good. We are playing 4D chess in space now, Danny. Fuck your 4D chess, Juan. I just got my molars ripped out. Same thing happened to me back in the Congo. Except I did it to myself. Just chew in the front, like a rabbit. And Juan, let's leave Clara out of it. We got burned. That's all she needs to know. Clara's got enough to fucking deal with, let alone you almost getting torn to pieces. Gracias. Anyone want to help me here? No? I want that bitch off her throne. We hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Talia's just getting started. Hey, here. What do you got? Danny, the army puts up a checkpoint, we knock it down. Got one nearby for you if you got the time. Thanks a lot.
Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benavides. Trespasses? This is my shot, Danny. Got a shithole song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. It's Italia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot, and don't go in without us. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from... Urban Garden? Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvio Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. <whistles> nice. Lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro. A revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. It's possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel... special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure?
Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Sprayed on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. Smells like perfume. There. The fertilizer is working on the plants as we speak. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. Eastern Yara, known as El Este, uses the organic fertilizer PG-240. Central Yara, known as Valle de Oro, is where the Vivido compound is extracted. Western Yara, known as Madrugada, is home both to the fruit belt and by slaves. I didn't think this could happen. I hear even more now than before. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren rum. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. And neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. A million new cases of cancer each year, worldwide. How will you produce enough Viviro to combat it? Viviro is a young innovation, a new discovery. We are refining the drug to be stronger, 
How much money do you think they spent on these plates? Our global general is a small country. What do you mean? And they always put them in the same hotel. They never see anything that Minister Marquette doesn't want them. people in need. I never thought about that. The medical community has called for information on the chemical composition of the building. This beat's getting shot at by guerrillas. We can't provide that at this time. Yes, and I'm sure you have your reasons. What would you like to say to put your hands? There are many things that we can do that. The Dr. Reyes is committed to protecting the hero before we see details. We keep it close okay. because we care. Ministra Marquesa, could you explain why Yara says we are not going to come down? We should run! Dahlia! Okay, okay! Someone go deal with the terroristas! Multiple dead here! Recibido! What the hell is going on? I got multiple casualties here. Better not tell the próximo. Hey! Hold me! Where are you hiding? Are the terrorists that stay? What is going on? Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Fuck. Oh. Oye, let's go, let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello?
Your mother is dead. So Maria's dead. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bicho, you're not having a heart attack. Uh, well, how, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Clara, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? It wasn't the plan. Fuck, I don't think there ever was a plan. Look, you and Tali are at the top of Anton's shit list. Watch your back. A lot of people are counting on you, Danny. We got a chance here. Word is Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows? He might even surrender. You're dreaming, Clara. Fuck yeah, I am. the bad stuff happens when we split it off. Oh, oh, Danny! Come here, come here, come here! I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I... Nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport, and he was with that fucker, Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that could put Talia back from the cliff, Cardinal. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom, soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do this on... Shit!
Mierda. They're serious. This place is crawling with soldados. They must have been waiting for Paolo. We got bodies here. Stay sharp! Eyes on the target! Need to find Paolo. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe, but we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Hey, bicho! You got Paolo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. A, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho! I'll call you when I have him, okay?
control. Land now or be fired upon. God damn it. There's a lot of resorts in Barrial. Why would they take Paolo to a place like this? <laughs> Los muy idiotas no debieron dejarse coger. Yo sabía que alguien iba a venir. Resort. I'm running out of time. Go. Slow down. Paolo better be here, or Bembe is a dead man. Danny! Paolo! It's Danny! Paolo! These new phones. They're so thin. Oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Come in! You're off the hallway! Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers? Come on, Cody, you're safe. They're with me now. Uh, uh, he put something in me. 
Oh God, you put something in me. Get out to Matias. Fucking go. Oh, okay, okay. We meet there. <laughs> Matias! Need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. He was fucking El Doctor! He poisoned me! Need to get it out! Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Danny, please take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Uh, 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 fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This is a real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. Uh, how was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. Uh. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? says to me. He screams pity for me. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Dan? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us too. Alejo, please, stop. After the bullet went into my brain, I could still see. I didn't have long enough to watch the bullet behind me. Matias! Matias! Danny, you're next. Paolo, keep her steady. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. you steal, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. Oh, how's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. 
Said he had a war to plan. Oh, fuck. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. <laughs> 